Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Zion. So as you saw on the tablet today, I'm going to be testing and reviewing the Bite Whitening Gel. So if you don't know what Bite is, it's just a sustainable company for like um, mouth hygiene, I guess. So they sell um, a tubeless toothpaste, bamboo toothbrushes, um, less waste floss, which I got too. And then the whitening gel and they may sell other stuff but I got the floss I have not tried that out yet because I want to use all my floss that I have already bought um, but here is the little tooth whitening thing the whitening gel it's 10 milliliters plastic free and it's made with you and the planet in mind it's non-toxic made of um, clean ingredients and it's cruelty free and vegan it says a slight tingling is normal. It says after brushing, dry a surface of your teeth. So I just brushed my teeth. And it says apply a thin layer of the bite whitening gel to each tooth. You want to whiten with the bamboo applicator brush. Smile wide and try not to let your lips or tongue touch your teeth for two minutes. Do not rinse. So you just spit it out. And it says avoid eating or drinking for 30 minutes after application and use twice daily for 14 consecutive days after opening. I'm pretty sure you have to throw it away after three weeks. I'm going to go read up on the website. Um, that has more information on it and I'll let you guys know some more information. Okay, so the directions of the website are pretty much the same. The only thing that I saw is after three weeks you have to throw it out. I actually have two of them because I had a misshipped order and I didn't know how the order would get back to me. But I guess the person who got the order just shipped it back to me. So I had already contacted customer service and gotten a new package so I actually have another one. But it looks a little different and it was like spilling out of the container. I don't know if I'm going to use that one. And it hasn't been opened so I can like use it whenever. Okay, first things first, here's a little applicator brush. This is like a normal little brush. And then here is the teeth whitening. It looks like Taco Bell logo. If that makes, like if you guys know what I'm talking about, like, you, if you know, you know. But it says bite. So I'm gonna rinse this off and then I'm and dry it completely and then dry off my teeth. So I just the before take pictures of my teeth. They are like I think they're pretty yellow. Um, my dentist just said that's like my natural teeth color. I brush my teeth morning and night without fail and I floss every night. So I don't know why they're yellow, but I'll show you guys on the camera. But I did take pictures of like. They don't look bad on camera, but I definitely want to use this whitening shirt just to help with confidence. Okay, now I'm going to dry the surface of my teeth. I don't think I'm going to apply it to my back teeth because I don't think that's really necessary. It is hard. Jaw is shaking right now. Hmm. It was a little tingly, but it just feels like how toothpaste feels, like that mini feeling. I didn't, I got a little bit on my lip, but it didn't like burn or anything, like nothing crazy like that. That's day one. Let me go look back in the lighting I just was to see if I think they got wider. Some people did say they noticed it got wider after first use, so let me see. But I'm gonna compare to the picture. And my teeth don't feel sensitive at all. I know that some people said that their teeth got sensitive after they used whitening strips. They look pretty similar, but not the exact same. So, I think using this for 14 days will definitely render results. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two of this. Alrighty guys, it's day two. So let's just go ahead and do this. You saw this all yesterday, so I don't need to talk much today. But I did want to give you guys a little update after yesterday. Um, basically, my teeth just felt like really weird and that was probably all in my head. They didn't hurt or anything. They just felt different and weird. And after I ate and drank water and like basically stopped thinking about it and went away completely, my teeth did not feel sensitive at all today. So yeah, I didn't want to do it day and night. I don't know if I told you guys this yesterday because I don't want my teeth to get too sensitive and I don't like maybe I'll try it another time, but not this time. So yeah. Jaw is shaking.
Whoa. Okay, guys. I applied a little bit more today than I did yesterday. Again, my tea brush is like feeling minty clean. Um, let me go back in the original lighting and see if I think they got any whiter. They look a li little, little, little bit lighter on the top, but not on the bottom yet. So. I will see you guys back for day three. Um, and I might at this point just start doing time lapses and little updates here and there. But yeah. Okay guys, I accidentally swallowed it. It burned. That's day three. Alrighty guys, here's my seven day update. So first we can just compare the two pictures. Personally, I think they have gotten a little bit wider. They're still pretty yellow though. My teeth have not gotten sensitive at all. The only thing I feel is after I put it on and when I put it on, um, for about like 15 minutes after, my teeth just feel like a little minty fresh. And then that goes away once I eat or drink or whatever. I think now I'm gonna start applying the whitening gel twice a day like it says on the box because i'm not so scared of my teeth getting sensitive and this is my last week of doing it so that's what i'm gonna do but i'm not gonna come back for the nighttime application because that's a lot of work because i just want to go to bed and quickly do it and not have to set up my camera but yeah that's what's going on i'm gonna go ahead and put my light and stuff on y'all got you guys on the drill this is how much i've used Look at that. I got some of the whitening stuff on my gum and it was really burning. And you can see that little spot is a little white, like I bleached my gum. Oh no. Mmm. I'm gonna try to wipe it off. Ow. It really hurts. Mmm. It was raw and it hurts. Hi guys, it's been a hot minute. So it's been two days since I applied to gel. Um, the day, the last time you saw me, I accidentally got it on my gum right in between the two bottom teeth. And I did the same thing that night and my gum was just really irritated. Like I floss every single night and my gums are bleeding only in that spot when I was flossing. It was just very irritated and it hurt really bad. So I just decided to take a little break, but I'm back. Um, I'm just gonna try my best not to get it on my gums. I don't know like how all of a sudden I started to get it on my gums, but yeah, I just want to up update you guys on that. Um, I will start doing it twice a day and I'm probably gonna avoid this area. Alright you guys, so this is the last day I'm doing my teeth whitening. I have missed probably um, five days total last week because I went to my aunt's house and then I went out of town for 4th of July, or actually six days, so I didn't do it yesterday either. Don't mind how I look, I'm still in my PJs um, and my hair looks crazy, I'm about to wash it, but I don't want to come back here for the last time putting on this teeth whitening. I must have got out of town again for my best friend's sweet 16, so this will be the last time I'll be able to use it. But an update on my gum. I'm just not really sensitive at all anymore.
first things first, we're going to compare the results. I'm going to go take the after picture out where I took it last time. So yeah. Alrighty, looking at these results, I think the top teeth did get a little bit better. It's it's like a gradient though, because I was scared to get close to my gums. Um, I will definitely try this again and do it 14 days, twice a day, instead of three weeks, once a day, with a lot of breaks in between. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would definitely try this again. I probably won't try it again for a while just because I don't want my teeth to get super sensitive. My teeth have not gotten any more sensitive at all. The only thing about this is if you get on your gums, they will bleach them and it will hurt for a couple of days. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment some suggestions of what I should change next time and how to naturally whiten your teeth without like being too damaging. Um, cause I don't know why my teeth are so stained, but they are. I don't drink that much coffee. Like, I don't know why they're so stained. And I brush them twice a day without fail. So I don't really know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe and like if you want more testing videos like this one. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!